Hello, welcome to the virtual Pulp Dent booth. Uh, this is your virtual commentator, Dr. Robert Lowe. Uh, I serve as a, a clinical affairs consultant for Pulp Dent Corporation and have worked with them for many years. I am a practicing uh, dentist in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and am also on faculty at uh, Medical University of South Carolina School of Dental Medicine. And it's my privilege to be able to share with you some insights into some of these innovative products that Pulp Dent has to share with the dental community. In this video demonstration, we will cover the following topics. What is bioactivity? The science beyond the marketing buzz. Why bioactive and dynamic products are important to you and your patients. What current research shows about the effectiveness of bioactive and dynamic restorative materials. How bioactivity relates to ion release, recharge, and appetite formation. A review of Pulp Dent's Activa Bioactive product line. And an introduction to the latest in Pulp Dent's Activa line, a dynamic composite material called Activa Presto. So what is bioactivity? The concept of bioactive materials was first introduced in 1969 and later defined as follows. A bioactive material is one that elicits a specific biologic response at the interface of the material, which then results in the formation of a bond between the tissues and the material. In 1996, Larry Hench expanded on this concept. A bioactive material creates an environment compatible with osteogenesis or bone growth, and this mineralization process forms a natural bond between the living tissues and the non-living synthetic restorative materials. So think about this for a second. We've been talking about bioactivity in very relative terms for years in the field of dentistry. Most dental materials are inert. They don't elicit any type of response uh, when placed in uh, the oral cavity. Now. Uh, we have materials that, uh, uh, as we'll discuss, will um, make quite a difference in the availability of certain ions to help nourish the teeth and help uh, preserve the natural dentition throughout life. So now we're going to introduce some material called Activa Bioactive Restorative Material, one of the first bioactive materials in the long line of pulp dent uh, bioactive materials and other dynamic restorative materials it's now available uh, in uh, and for use in our dental offices. I've been speaking about this product for quite a while. I've been using it for several years. And, and to me, when a product like this comes out, it's, it's, it's a, a real game changer as far as restorative materials because for, for as long as I can remember, I've been practicing dentists since 1982. Restorative materials are inert materials that actually serve no function but to fill a void, fill a hole, fill the cavity. They don't provide any nutritive function to the tooth whatsoever. And we, we're dealing with a couple of things today that I, I, I always ask my patients, number one, do you wanna save your money or save your teeth? Because, uh, uh, those two things don't always go together. Um, the other question is you want to keep your teeth for the rest of your life. Now, most patients will say yes. And if the average person is living well into their 80s, some into their 90s, uh, the chance of them doing it with their natural dentition uh, based on the old way of doing things uh, obviously is not that good. I mean, my grandmother lost all of her teeth in her 30s and wore dentures for the most of, the, most of her life. Now, granted, we've made a lot of strides since then uh, as far as restorative, uh, but this is the next leap in that uh, realm as far as having uh, materials uh, at, our disposable that, at our disposal that actually help provide the nutritive functions to the tooth of calcium and phosphate ions, which are the building blocks of, of appetite. Now, Activa, uh, I've described for many years as a, a, a battery or a storehouse for ions, fluoride, calcium, and phosphate. 
And the tooth undergoes many different changes in demineralization and remineralization through the course of a day, let alone a lifetime. You know, changes in diet, changes in the quality of the saliva, um, uh, how much biofilm is present, how much plaque and calculus is present. Uh, all of these things affect the ability of the tooth to withstand the acid pH and the byproducts of bacterial metabolism. Once teeth start to demineralize and bacteria infiltrate, uh, that's when we have decay and tooth loss. So obviously, if we can restore teeth with, restore, with materials that provide these nutritive functions, we stand a much better chance of having a tooth last for a longer period of time. Uh, so Activa provides calcium and phosphate and fluoride to a demineralized tooth. And then obviously the amount of calcium and phosphate and fluoride diminishes in the restorative material, but it's then recharged through food, toothpaste, water, saliva, uh, dental tubular fluid. So there's this constant ion exchange between acid groups at the ionic resin and the tooth structure interface. These occur at a molecular level. This slide shows appetite formation, calcium phosphate appetite, the, the formation of that on the surface of Activa after 21 days in a moisture environment, saline. So imagine again, this is a restoration in your mouth. Uh, are the restorations in your mouths able to precipitate appetite on the surface, able to help seal restorative gaps by the precipitation of appetite? Well, the answer to that is no, unless you're using a material such as uh, Activa Bioactive and for your own dentistry. Now, these slides are interesting because it's a comparison between uh, today's restorative materials and Activa as far as compressive strength and diametral tensile strength. Activa really doesn't know whether it's a, a composite, a resin, an ionic resin, uh, if it's a part cal uh, is, it, is it like glass ionomer or resin modified ionomer? Well, it has some of the characteristics of both of these materials. As you can see, when comparing compressive strength, uh, with composite in this graph, the composite is Filtech. Uh, the compressive strength of Activa is very close to the compressive strength of composite. You can see that uh, the glass ionomer is not quite that much. In fact, glass ionomer is not designed to take compressive strengths or compressive load. Um, it's used as a dental replacement, which needs a composite material uh, above it or on the surface to uh, withstand the forces of occlusion. Same with tensile strength. Activa and Filtech both have high tensile strength, which means they're, they're similar in, in this capacity. Um, glass ionomers have very little tensile strength. Now, when looking at wear, the wear rates of these materials, glass ionomers are gonna wear tremendously high because they're not designed, again, to uh, take forces of occlusion or occlusal wear. Activa wears more like a traditional composite. So you've got ions, nutritive ions, calcium phosphate and fluoride, ion release and recharge, but yet you have a material that has wear rates, compressive strength and diametral tensile strength similar to a composite. This is a case of mine, uh, carries control patient, uh, for years, uh, glass ionomer was the material of choice for caries control because of fluoride release. Uh, but today, we have uh, a material that uh, not only has fluoride release, but also the building blocks of appetite, calcium and phosphate, to help some of this demineralized dentin, remineralize to healthy dentin. So this is an example of a caries control patient being taken care of with Activa Bioactive Restorative. Now, these may be young patients, they may be old patients, you know, in the geriatric world, you know, with uh, root caries and, and uh, saliva depletion, um, caries sometimes becomes very difficult to manage. And these types of patients uh, work real well with a bioactive restorative material. Now, I get this question from a lot of dentists 
about how, how can this bioactivity work through a bonding agent? Uh, because we're, you know, we're, we're brought up with the fact that these bonding agents seal teeth, seal dentin, which they do. But on a molecular level, bonding agents are like a semi-permeable membrane. Do the ions release from Activa? Do they pass through a bonding agent? Well, there is evidence that this happens on multiple researchers that have looked at this. Activa helps prevent the breakdown of the bonding layer. How does it do this? By inhibiting the release of MMPs. When the bonding agent is applied using a two-step etch and rinse. This is from Salvatore Soro. Degradation of the bonding layer is the leading cause of composite failure, where it certainly is one of the uh, main causes of a composite restoration failure or of, of crown failure when composite resin cements are used to cement crowns. Degradation of the bonding layer can cause micro leakage and breakdown of the tooth surface. Studies do indicate lower concentrations of MMPs with Activa, as I previously mentioned. Now, ions released from Activa passing through a bonding agent. Again, this is a, uh, another study that was done at uh, Tufts, uh, Tufts University School of Medicine. Uh, fluoride release of bioactive restoratives with bonding agents. Study demonstrated that the fluoride age ions uh, from the restorative material were able to penetrate through the adhesive bonding agents tested. This is a study from Soro and Pashley uh, showing that uh, ions released not only pass through the bonding agent, uh, but they also help prevent the degradation of the dentin bond by inhi inhibiting the release of MMPs. So we can see there, there's a definite uh, um, problem with that in regards to uh, uh, etch and rinse with traditional composites versus here we see uh, Activa uh, bioactive and, and on the bottom Presto, which we're gonna be talking about in a moment. Now talking about Activa bioactive, one of the other uh, partners in the line is a uh, base liner, as you see here on the left. Uh, Activa bioactive base liner is a dual cure, contains glass ionomer, injectable, and it's low shrinkage stress. Has many of the attributes of Activa bioactive as far as the ion release and recharge. Now, one of the main things to remember with these products is that they're moisture friendly for easier technique control. This is critical because composites work only when isolation is perfect. I mean, they work optimally. And you know, as a clinician, I know as a clinician, there are many times where it's very difficult using any technique to maintain pure isolation. And in those types of areas, it certainly would be nice, wouldn't it, to have a material that you could use that has uh, the attributes of Activa Bioactive and, and has a lot of the uh, physical um, attributes of composite resin, but is also moisture friendly. Another important point is the rubberized resin in Activa absorbs shock and stress, so it's not as brittle as a conventional composite. So these are uh, um, these are, are, are important points to think about when you're choosing your materials. I hear, hear people all the time in lecture, they'll ask me, well, I've been using Vitrobond and I don't have any sensitivity and it works good for me and this, that, and the other. Well, there are many materials that worked good as far as our standards, you know, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. But as I tell, uh, you know, the, the, the analogy, I said, horse and buggy was a good way to get around town, but we actually have automobiles and pretty soon these automobiles will fly. You know, so the technologies are there to give better restorative services to your patients, period. Regardless of it works for me and I've used it for years and this, that, or the other. What is this about? Is it about us as dentists or is it about treating our patients the best we can? I think you know the answer to that. 
Now, Limelight has been a product uh, uh, in the pulp vent line for years, and Limelight has been enhanced uh, to uh, contain bioavailable calcium and phosphate components and uh, has similar chemistry where uh, uh, the rubberized resin component is concerned to uh, Activa uh, bioactive base liner. So while one is a dual cure, uh, limelight enhanced is light cure only. But many have, uh, these materials have uh, uh, many similar attributes as you can see here. Now moving on in the, in the Activa line, we come to Activa bioactive cement. You know, this is a self etching resin cement used for cementing crown and bridge. Now, some of the uh, uh, attributes of Activa bioactive cement, multi-purpose, in other words, you can use, to a lot, use Activa bioactive cement for a lot of different substrates. It bonds well to zirconia, high strength ceramic, metal. It also has a uh, um, component uh, in the uh, uh, shock absorbing area uh, because of the rubberized urethane to help uh, uh, reduce stress and occlusal forces on the cement. It resists chipping and crumbling and washout, easy cleanup, low film thickness. And because it's a dual barrel syringe, it eliminates capsules, activation, and trituration. Activa is different, not only in the restorative area, but in the cement uh, category as well. But stimulating mineral appetite formation that penetrates and fills micro gaps, knits together the restoration in the tooth, guards against recurrent decay, seals margins against micro leakage and staining and failure. It's nature's way. I ask again, how many of you in the audience, how many of you dentists have crowns in your own mouth? You know that there's no such thing as a closed margin. None of us have closed margins. It's only a question of how open they are. 30 to 50 microns is considered acceptable. We can't feel it. 30 micron margin with a sharp explorer. But that doesn't mean that there isn't a gap because bacteria are one micron in diameter. So 29 of those little um, bacterium can crawl right under a margin that uh, has cement washed out or has a void or what have you and, and gain access to the internal aspect of the restoration in the tooth. So if you have a crown in your mouth, wouldn't you rather have it cemented with the material that actively stimulates mineral appetite crystal formation on the surface to help fill micro gaps and prevent against recurrent decay and leakage? I know I would. This SEM shows a cross section of dentin and Activa bioactive cement. And you can see on the a photo micro graph, graph on the right, uh, um, that, that gap is uh, actually uh, was produced when uh, the specimen was fractured, but you can see uh, appetite uh, layer formation on the surface of the dentin and uh, the tubules being filled with mineral, mineral tags. Um, this is from the formation uh, or from the uh, uh, calcium and phosphate that is, is available from Activa to help form appetite at this interface. So this is a this is a, a nice graphic illustration to show what happens with a crown margin over time, where you know biofilm is present and uh, acid metabolism and breakdown can cause demineralization of tooth structure, and as as the passive cement may may dissolve and uh, and degrade through time, these margins or areas uh, then become uh, uh, suspect and and uh, and then. Uh, in early breakdown as far as their ability to uh, uh, maintain a marginal seal. Bacteria can then get underneath and recurrent decay can happen. Now let's change gears a little bit and let's talk about the new composite material, an ionic resin called Activa Presto. After years of success with Activa Restorative, Pulp Den has innovated the first light cured composite designed to mimic the properties of natural teeth. 
Activa Presto is a mineral enriched aesthetic composite. Activa Presto is a dynamic moisture friendly material that responds to pH changes in the oral environment. Activa Presto releases, recharges calcium, phosphate, and fluoride. It's tough, durable, rubberized resin, resistant wear, uh, resistant to wear, fracture, and chipping. It's a stackable, shapeable, low flow, uh, flowable material with no pullback. It doesn't slump. You can make shapes with this. Contains no bis-GMA, no bisphenol A, or no BPA derivatives. And is really uh, useful for all restorative procedures and in load bearing applications. The two fundamental elements of Activa Presto that mimic nature, number one, the moisture friendly, mineral enriched ionic resin first introduced in pulp dent and brace products. And then the patented rubberized resin technology that was first introduced in pulp dent's Tough Temp Plus provisional crown and bridge material. The tooth is the standard. And if you look at these different categories, aesthetics, moisture friendly, high strength, release and recharge of calcium, shock absorbency. If you look at natural tooth structure, natural tooth structure is positive in all of those categories, as is Activa Presto. But when you look at traditional composite resins, yes, they're aesthetic, but no, they're not moisture friendly. Uh, uh, they have high strength capacity, but they do not release or recharge calcium and phosphate, and they don't have shock absorbency. They're very brittle. These graphs represent calcium, fluoride, and phosphate release and recharge uh, from various materials. Here you can see Activa Presto, Activa Bioactive, Beautyfill Flow Plus, and Filtech Supreme. Now, Beautyfill Flow Plus is a composite resin that does show some ion release. Other than Activa, I don't know of any other composite on the market and Filtech Supreme is, has a high market share, but you can see it pretty much flat lines on, on, on everything here. Uh, but when you look at that in comparison uh, to those two, to Activa Bioactive and Activa Presto, you can see quite a bit of difference in multiple charges, release and recharge as these materials continue to help remineralize, demineralize two structure. Mechanical properties, we've mentioned uh, some of the properties in regard to Activa uh, Bioactive Restorative, uh, but Activa Presto and compared with many, uh, with several of the other composites out there has a high deflection at break. In other words, because of the rubberized uh, uh, urethane resin component, it's not as brittle. Flexural stress is uh, no statistical difference. And, Volume wear, you can see um, the, the amount of wear is certainly uh, a lot less, as we mentioned, than, than glass ionomer. So some of my cases uh, from my office, again, using uh, quantitative laser fluorescence and fissurotomy for early diagnosis. You can see these are definitely not GV black extension for prevention, but they're prevention of extension, uh, just removing the decay and then using Activa Presto as the restorative material into those small preparation fissures. Once light cured, making minor adjustments uh, with a carbide rotary uh, composite finishing burr and uh, ASAP polishers to really create restorations that are barely visible, uh, let alone uh, um, taking away healthy tooth structure as we were, were taught in school and our extension for prevention cavity preparations. Here's one of my clinical cases I showed with uh, cervical repair made with Activa Presto. Uh, um, I was involved with uh, some of the uh, testing uh, early on and recommended that we have some darker cervical shades for our, our older patients with, uh, with the gingival recession. And the question is, can you find the, the restoration on the uh, on the distal of 26 or on the mesial of 27. And I think it's pretty hard to, to actually detect that those are restored surfaces. This is a class two courtesy of Dr. Robert Ho, showing a class two replaced with Activa Presto. 
Again, I'm sure that Dr. Ho used a sectional matrix in this case to maintain the proper contour of the proximal surface and create a uh, consistent contact from Dr. Denali. Severe caries restored with Activa Presto, shade A1 and A2, beautiful case. So here, uh, this slide shows uh, some of the overlap and some of the uh, unique characteristics of both of these materials. I think it's important to understand that both materials uh, I feel are needed in the armamentarium. Uh, Activa Bioactive Restorative is a dual cure, contains some glass ionomer material, uh, is injectable, flowable. You can use a, a bulk fill because it's dual cure. And while it's, it's, it's aesthetic, you, you don't have as many shade options with Activa Bioactive Restorative as you do a traditional composite. That's where Activa Presto comes in. Uh, Activa Presto is a light cured version, contains modified calcium phosphate, uh, stackable, shapeable, low flow, no slump, uh, and 2.5 millimeter increment placement for all cavity preparations. And you have a wide variety of, uh, of shades uh, for aesthetic concerns. So to me, this is really the new hybrid uh, sandwich technique where on a, on a larger uh, composite restoration or a restoration where you would consider a, a bulk fill composite, uh, a bioactive restorative dentin material such as Activa and an enamel layer with uh, Presto where aesthetics is concerned uh, makes to me the uh, best of both worlds. The magic is in the resin. Moisture friendly, mineral enriched ionic resin facilitates the diffusion of calcium phosphate and fluoride that integrates with tooth structure. Patented rubberized resin is tough, shock absorbing, and resists fracture wear and chipping. Patented modified calcium phosphate component is soluble in monomers and binds to the calcium in teeth. Urethane based resins contain no bis GMA, no bisphenol A, and no BPA derivatives. Positive impact of bioactive materials for you, your staff, and your patients. Take advantage of your most com valuable commodity, your chair time. I think most dentists are, are very conscious of, you know, how many pennies they spend on this composite or that bonding agent or whatever. But think about it. What's your most important commodity? It's your chair time. How much per hour does it cost to operate your dental chair? How much do you need to make to pay? yourself, your staff, your rent, your supplies, anything that can help reduce chair time, reduce possibilities for remake, reduce possibilities for patient complaint, give a better um, long lasting result. It's gonna save you chair time, it's gonna save you money. When fewer materials are required, there's less possibility for technique sensitivity to affect the clinical outcome. Fewer steps, time savings, product savings. I mentioned less sensitivity, less marginal staining and micro leakage because the ability of, of these materials to fill the restorative gap by precipitating appetite leads to long life and less staining and less, uh, less micro leakage, better seal. Research and clinical studies provide confidence and greater patient acceptance. And bioactive benefits are easily understood by patients. Just talk to them about it. I do every day. They get it. And I'm not so worried about, you know, well, what's my insurance going to cover? Uh, insurance pays for something every five years. How many times are you going to assault the tooth in the patient's lifetime? The benefits of bioactive materials are not only easily understood by patients but they will thank you for it. I don't know what else I could tell you other than the fact that it's time to think about <clears throat> what's best for your patients and how materials like this can impact your practice. And believe me, it does impact your practice because where it gets around, not every dentist is providing this service. So be the first and help promote good dental care good dental health for your patients for many years to come. Thank you so much for visiting the Pulp Dent virtual booth and I hope this information has been helpful to you. Other than that, I, I wish you uh, goodwill and good, uh, a good meeting and uh, I implore you to uh, give this 
material a try. You won't regret it. Thank you so much for your kind attention.